Border Patrol turns the tables on Joe Biden, the president left major wall gaps, so agents are quietly filling them. What's happening? We all know Joe Biden took efforts to make our southern border weak and open. He dropped all of Trump's policies that prevented a surge of migrants. What was the result? A surge of migrants. One of Biden's first moves was to stop the construction of Trump's famed border wall. But, under Biden's own nose, border agents are rushing to fix what he messed up. From the New York Post. The 20-foot gap in the frontier wall at Border Monument 3 was allowing thousands of smugglers and migrants to cross into the U.S. with relative ease, Border Patrol agents told the Post last week. Border Patrol agents took it upon themselves to plug the hole with old truck tires and pieces of stray construction materials that were left behind by the federal contractors. We have some agents who are good welders, and they put it all together, Border Patrol agent Berrigan said. Not only did Joe Biden halt the construction of Trump's border wall, but he took the money allotted for the project and gave it to others. That left massive gaps in our border, which allowed smugglers and criminals to sneak over the border. Border Patrol reported that attacks on agents have doubled this year over last year. They report that parts of the border secured by Trump's wall are much safer. Imagine that. Because Biden hastily stopped the project, everything he does is hasty and not thought out, it left behind various construction materials just rusting in the desert. So, Border Patrol agents have been using this material to close the gaps between some sections of Trump's wall. It is reported that some of the agents have experience in welding, so they are securing these materials as best they can. Hey, it's not Trump's big, beautiful wall, but it's better than what was there. It's pretty incredible that Biden is doing nothing to secure our border. And worse, spending that money on other projects. We've seen the toll our open border has had on us, in just the first half of the year alone. What could happen if it continues to stay open?